Today in our 2016 Toyota Sienna, we're going to take a look at then show you how to install the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 2 trailer hitch receiver. This offers the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. Its part number is 36513. Alright, here's what our hitch looks like installed. As you can see our cross tube, it comes across, goes to our connection points right in the frame rails. Here in the center, that's going to be our receiver tube opening. This is an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter. Class 2 hitch, so ball mounts, bike racks, cargo carriers, things like that. You just want to be sure that it's a class 2 accessory and that it has the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter shank. And hold it in place, we've got our half inch diameter pinhole there. Then you'll see we've got kind of a plate style safety chain connection point here. It's going to give us good support for the receiver tube opening and also nice large open areas to connect any type of chain we might want to. Now when it comes to towing, we've got a 300 pound tongue weight limit. That's the maximum downward force that we can put here at our receiver tube opening. And the hitch has a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's going to be the total weight of our trailer and then anything that we were to load up on it. You do want to keep in mind that we should consult the owner's manual on the Sienna, see what its tow rating is, and we'll go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now a couple measurements that are going to be helpful when selecting your ball mounts, bike racks, or even hitch cargo carriers will be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening. We've got about 11 and a quarter inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about four and a quarter. Now if your vehicle is equipped with this panel underneath the back side, we're going to get that pulled down and out of the way. Uh, we'll be trimming it and putting it back in place or you can just leave it off, whatever you want to do. Putting it back in place does give it a little bit cleaner look across the back though, but it is optional for you. You can see we've got some Phillips screws across the back here. We'll get these pulled out. Also across the back side here, there are these large, they're basically kind of like a nut that you would just push up on the bolt. But if you use a large Phillips or even a large flathead for that matter, you can get them to come down and off. And just like that's what you're looking for. Now we'll go to the outside edge on the passenger side and the driver's side and we'll have the same style fasteners there. We've got a couple push pin fasteners across this forward edge. For these you're going to pull out the core and then the whole thing should come out like that. Now if your Sienna is equipped with the added on mud flaps here, we need to pull the little Phillips screw out of there. Just like that. And we'll just push that panel over out of the way and we can put our screw right back in. Now we're going to do the last two push pin fasteners here and just work our panel out. All right, now for trimming out our panel, you can see we've got one, two, three, four. That's where those black Phillips screws were all the way. This is the very back edge towards the rear of the vehicle. These were the fasteners we had in the front. Basically we want to retain the four holes and the two uh, Phillips style push nuts. The one hole on the end here, it's all the way over on the driver's corner. This is going to be going away. So we'll come right in from that hole. You can see there's a corner edge right here. From that edge, we want to go kind of right back to that point. And just like that. And then we're going to be following this line all the way around. And then when we get over to this edge, be about two inches before the end we we're going to come down kind of just like that right over to that corner. Now the material you can see it's really flexible so a razor knife is really all you're going to need to cut it.
All right, the smaller piece will be the part going back up. And a larger piece we can set aside or maybe use it as a sled. Now to give us a little bit more flexibility in the exhaust here so we can kind of get our hands in there, there's a hanger right here that we're gonna remove. Usually if you just use a little bit of spray lubricant on it, And then a big screwdriver, or maybe a pry bar, and behind it, it'll usually come off there for you. And that'll give us just a little bit more room to work. We don't need much. All right, now we've got three attachment points on each side. You can see there's three stickers that kind of cover the holes and then there's a little rubber plug. We can leave the rubber plug, but we want to pull down these little stickers. We'll do that here on the driver's side and the exact same thing on our passenger side. We got the same attachment points on both. Now we're ready to raise our hitch up into position. It's kind of long, so it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands. We just want to align the holes that are in the hitch bracket with the holes we just cleared. We're going to be threading in the provided hardware. We want to make sure on our bolt that we put a locking washer, then a flat washer, and then we'll go right up and in. Now once we've got that bolt started well, just let it rest there. That's going to hold it in position while we get the rest of them going. Now we can take just a quick look. We want to make sure we've got our hitch centered on our vehicle. And then we'll snug those bolts down. Then we'll want to torque them to the appropriate torque specification that we'll find in our instructions. We can get our exhaust put back up into position. A little bit more spray lubricant can help us there. Just gonna slide on, pretty easy. Now let's get that cover put back on the rear. See our two push nuts there, we just kind of slide it over. We want this lip to go over the bumper there. And we'll just get these aligned. Push them up and on. And then we'll put our four screws across the back. With our panel replaced, that's going to complete our installation of the DrawTight Custom Fit Class 2 trailer hitch receiver, part number 36513, on our 2016 Toyota Sienna.